Hey, what's up everybody? This is DDS and in this video, I'm going to be telling you five things that I wish I knew when I started music production. Now, <clears throat> these five things are really just off the top of my head and stuff that come to mind. I started to make a list out, but you know, I decided not to just because I wanted it to be more natural. I didn't want it to be something that I had. Here's number one, here's number two, here's number three, here's number four. So <clears throat> just bear with me if I pause for a minute to think about stuff. But I'm really just going to give y'all the things I wish I knew when I started out. And number one, the main thing that I wish I knew was VSTs. When I first started making beats in FL Studio, all I knew was sound fonts and the samples that came with the kits. They didn't really know to go out and buy different VSTs. The first VST that I actually went out and bought was Nexus, and that changed everything. When you invest in VSTs, it just changes everything. You know, you get better sounds and in turn your music sounds better. And then that leads me to my next thing, invest. Invest in yourself as far as your business. If you want to be a music producer, you're going to have to buy sounds. You're going to have to buy equipment like keyboards. Um, I use machines, so I have all the different machines. Studio monitors, headphones, microphones all that stuff don't be afraid to spend that money on yourself because if you're really trying to pursue this goal you're going to have to spend that money if this is your dream you're going to have to do that if you're trying to make a business out of it you're going to have to do that there are sounds that come out all the time you got to stay on top of it i know it costs money but just save up if you will ever just set aside some amount of money to invest back into yourself i buy sounds all the time sometimes i don't even feel like it like there was a new sound that just came out a new vst that came out and i was like do I really want to spend that money on it? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab it because I can make one song. You can make one song and that will change it. If that song it becomes a hit, you got that money right back. So invest in yourself. I invested with my unemployment checks and got complete and I made some dope songs off complete. I made the money right back from that on. You know what I'm saying? So take some money invested in yourself. And then from there, I had a point, but I forgot what it was. Um, all right, I'll do this one. Time. Everything is going to take time. Don't don't sit there and think that you're going to make beats for you know a couple weeks, a couple months, and then you're just going to be the next big thing. No, it takes time. You have to put hours in, and a lot of people don't even put in the type of hours that you have to put in. You got to put in like it's a job. When I started making beats, I was in high school, so all I was doing was making beats after school all day, every day until it's time to go to bed barely playing video games but when i did i was i had my little laptop sitting right there and i was still playing xbox i'll be sitting there making beats in between matches or whatever i was doing just having fun you know you got to really develop it spend time doing it and then the next thing kind of goes along into that is make sure you have fun while doing that i got asked what is something that's needed to become a music producer and it's really all you need to do is have fun doing it sounds and time like if you have if you have the equipment the fun i mean the time and then you having fun while doing it doesn't feel like work like don't force yourself to do anything have fun with it enjoy it because that's when it's really going to be the best like the best moments for me is when i'm sitting here i close my eyes and play the keys on my machines during my live streams just to have fun and stuff it turns out beautifully so have fun and the fifth thing that i want to add it was something i wanted to add but i forgot what it was um, I really forgot what it was. I'm gonna say I have to think about it, but yeah, you know, I'll make a transition in the video probably to when I think about it. I said, I already said time, fun, VSTs, invest in yourself. It was something else. Oh, here we go. It doesn't matter if people don't buy your beats. Look at me. I made beats for years without anybody buying my beats before anything happened you know what I'm saying I had people buying them here and there but not seriously buying them until right before try me blew up and when try me blew up that automatically put me in a different position in life so I was able to live off my music from that point is what I was trying to say but prior to that nobody was buying myself I was making music for me do it for yourself <laughs> you know have fun do it for yourself invest in new sounds when you get new sounds that makes it more fun this all ties in together really and it's just those are the things that i wish i knew it was something else i really wanted to say but i forgot it and if i think about it i'll make another video about that specifically but i forgot about it maybe when i play this back i'll remember but those are five things that i wish i knew when i started out hopefully this will help somebody you know and this is something that's doesn't have to be the top 
five or anything, just remember to keep going. Regardless of anything, if this is what you want to do, if you have fun doing it, keep going no matter what happens because at the end of the day, something's going to come from it. If you keep putting you keep putting your time into it, something's going to come from it, man. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're not new, I just want to ask that you just continue to support me by watching these videos. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care.